What is good, everybody? Today, we're back with brand new WWE action figure news, and I was legitimately about to walk out the door because I got to catch a flight out to Philadelphia because tomorrow is WWE World, and I want to be there for all of the good, you know, good festivities, man. It's going to be epic weekend. Can't wait for WrestleMania weekend as we approach here day by day, man. But this news just broke just a couple hours ago, so I got to get on it before we get the hell out of here, man. But we have WWE Ultimate Edition Series 21 finally revealed to us, man. And I got to be real, I don't know how I'm feeling about it. I don't really know if I particularly enjoy these things, but we're going to get into all the details. We're going to break down all of it, get into the lore of these action figures, tell you what I like and don't like. We have four Ultimate Editions that we're going to talk about in this video, all brand new, all out there. Probably going to see them at World, I imagine. They're going to be on display, which we will see in just a day or so. So I can't wait for it, man. Let's shut the hell up and dive into it, man. Ultimate Edition Series 21. In this set, we've known about it for a while, probably five months at this point. We've known that it's kind of been on the on the horizon. Ultimate Edition Series 21, Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn. Let's start things off with Cody Rhodes, man. This figure is going to be highly sought after for a few different reasons. It is his WrestleMania 39 gear, but instead of the cloth goods of the Mattel Creations exclusive, this is actually going to be a molded jacket, just like the AEW Supreme from Jazz Wears. They are trying their hand at a sculpted-on jacket, which looks pretty damn good for the most part. I'm going to break down everything about this figure because I'm I was low-key pretty disappointed when I saw this figure and you're probably thinking oh my god here we go but just just bear with me just hear me out brad hear me out this is what you come here for to listen to the details right here man so Looking at this figure, I love Cody Rhodes. I've been waiting on this figure. If you guys know me, you know that I've been waiting on this figure specifically for quite a while. So I, you know, I've been on the, I've been like, I planted the flag. I've been holding the damn flag for this figure. We knew this figure was on the horizon for a while, man, in the WrestleMania 39 gear. Let's start out with the head sculpts and then we'll work our way down here. First of all, the the one head sculpt is, uh, it looks like the one that was on his basic and his top picks figure, which I don't particularly like. You know, this, this head sculpt's been used so much nowadays. You know, we've seen it on multiple basics. We've it on an elite we've seen it on this figure now and i know i've talked about this before but the defining moments head sculpt for whatever reason looks way better than this and i'm pretty sure they're the same sculpt it's just the paint apps are different i really wish this would have been the torn peck head sculpt and again i think they're very similar and they may even be the same sculpt it's just something about that torn peck cody head sculpt that was perfection so i do hate that we didn't see new head sculpts here but you do have this one which isn't bad i just i think i'm gonna swap mine out but we also have the screaming head sculpt which i don't mind a lot of people don't like like it. I don't mind it. I like it. He still has a tattoo on the neck. I, it's still not that close to his ear, man. It's, there's a gap between his ear and the neck tattoo. I wish they would take it off the head sculpt, but that's a whole nother thing there. But the rest of this body, man, you guys are going to notice on the figure, he does have the Seth Rollins torso, which I think is a great change. You know, last time he did have that, that other torso that was very bulky. A lot of people did not like it on his Mattel Creations exclusive. And that's one of the reasons why that figure was docked so many points. That's why it wasn't up in people's top of the top ultimate editions even though they were really hyped to get a cody ultimate and it was mattel creations exclusive made to order this this is the torso that a lot of people wanted they want that seth rollins torso and we pitched this because you know seth rollins and cody rhodes share the same elite torso so if they share the same elite torso why wouldn't they share the same ultimate torso and so that was kind of people you know that was their gripes and it, it made perfect sense and this is awesome i'm glad to see this torso on cody they also included chest hair he's got the dream tattoo all the all the checks and balances that we like to see that looks good i like everything about that going down into the gear here it is his navy gear which looks really good i i like this gear actually i know he took the l in this gear but i still like the gear it reminds me a lot of george washington i like it a lot i mean a lot of his gears remind me of george washington but i digress i actually like this gear a lot you're also going to notice he has knee pads man that is something that's interesting because when they showed off the first prototype mattel creations exclusive ultimate edition cody Rhodes back at the hogan beach shop he had knee pads on that figure and then they ended up not not putting them on the final product and I think it works better for Cody when you don't include the knee pads and it's weird because you know guys that wear tights sometimes they include knee pads and sometimes they don't and I think that I think people's biggest gripe if they're going to include knee pads it needs to be every time and if they're not going to include knee pads it needs to be every time you know what I mean so he does have knee pads on there I it would be awesome if you remove the knee pads the design was still underneath the knee pads now I don't know if that's the case or not 
I might ask Mattel about this personally, but removing those knee pads and having the designs underneath, all you'd have to do is remove the knee pads. But I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not entirely sure if the knee pads or the designs of the tights are on the knees themselves, you know. So we'll have to see about that. But also these boots, man. These boots are new boots. These are newly sculpted boots. They finally got Cody Rhodes boots accurate. These are no longer the same ones that he's been getting. You know, those Heath Slater ones or those Santos Escobar ones or, you know, that. They actually have brand new. These are brand new sculpted the boots that look really good. They look just like his boot mold. And the gold accents on here look amazing. I really like these. You don't get a great look at all, you know, the boot in its entirety, but you can make it out enough that it is a new boot mold. So I am excited to finally have that new boot mold in there. And also, another thing about this figure, man, is the jacket and the weight belt is really where a lot of people are having problems with this figure. Let's get into the weight belt first, man. You guys know that this figure is debuting the new weight belt mold for the WWE action figures from Mattel. And, you know, I feel like a lot of people would say that Jax and Jazzwares kind of perfected it. You know, Jax is probably the best. They had that perfect thickness to it, and it looks like a clipped-on weight belt, and it looks really good. And then Jazzwares did a similar thing. Their belts are a little skinny. However, they still look like, you know, there's a belt looped through, and it's pulled down. And on this one, man, I don't like this belt mold, you know? Really, it didn't improve. I guess it improved a little, but it did, you know, we waited so long for a weight belt mold, and I still don't like this weight belt. I don't like that you have that peg sticking out of it, and you have that, I don't mind the hole. I just think they should have put the peg on the opposite side, so when you wrap it around and you stick it, you know, you stick that peg down in the hole, you don't see the peg whatsoever. The peg would be on the inside of the belt, so when you're holding the belt, you can't see the peg either. So there's just a big thing there. Like, is it the biggest deal ever? No. But, you know, we waited so long for that weight belt and then to get this new weight belt and it still not be the way we wanted it to be. I don't know, man. It's it's just, I don't know. It's not that big of an improvement, in my opinion, is what I'm trying to say. Now, it's still better than the other one. The other one didn't even have, you know, a buckle or anything. This one does seem to have a buckle on there. It's just not, I don't know. Maybe it'll be better when we get it in hand. Maybe we see better images of it. You don't have, like, fantastic images of it here anyways, so it's kind of hard, you know, so maybe that'll change, but I don't know. Just looking at it on the front of the figure, like, actually fastened, it just doesn't look like a weight belt, so I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think of that. Also, with the jacket, on this Ultimate Edition Cody Rhodes jacket, the parts that are black on this jacket are supposed to be navy. So this, this is inaccurate. This is supposed to be navy blue instead of the black. And I guess it, it's like not the biggest deal of all time, like I said, but you know, you want these things to be accurate. You want it to look like it did at WrestleMania 39. And it's clearly black compared to the navy blue on the attire. And it kind of throws off the how much the attire meshes together. And so, yeah, that's kind of a problem for me. I mean, you could, you know, repaint it, I guess, but I I know a lot of people aren't going to want to do that. Maybe we can do that on surgery or what have you. You'll also notice that the arms on this Ultimate have the pins in there. These are, like, that, that kind of shocked me. I did not expect to see pinned arms here on this Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition. So you do have the pins in the arms as well. And then it doesn't have the big wings from his entrance at WrestleMania 39. Now, the wings were removable. There are images of him doing his entrance where he took the wings off. I think he took them off before he got in the ring, if I'm not mistaken. But the wings are missing, the big old wings that he had. That would have really threw this figure over the top. Maybe they couldn't include it in the budget and whatnot. But also the back of the jacket, the shape is a little bit off at the bottom there on the bottom part of the jacket, which isn't the biggest deal either. I, I'm just, you know, pointing out things that I notice when I look at the figure. But all in all, I'm still excited for the figure because I've been waiting on this figure for so long. I love the new boot mold. I love this attire. I love that they changed the the torso to the Seth Rollins torso. I didn't want an AJ Styles situation, right? I didn't want to have, you know, 13 Ultimate Edition Cody's and all of them have that bummy torso. So making the switch now, now any future Cody Rhodes Ultimate Edition is going to have the Seth Rollins torso, which I think is a massive uh, upgrade. So I, I like that. So I like the figure. I just think that some of the details could have been executed better. I wish it had the wings. I wish that some things were different. And we're going to do our best to try and fix it up. But I don't know. I was kind of low-key disappointed in some aspects of this figure but I'm still hyped for it. I still think it's going to be a great ultimate, still, you know, unbelievable jacket and whatnot. Even if it's not completely accurate, I'm still looking forward to this figure and this jacket and everything that goes on with this figure, man. So, yeah, I'm, I'm hyped for the figure, even though, you know, some of those details aren't completely 100% accurate. Let me know what you guys think. What are you, what are you feeling? You, you completely overlooking all these issues, or what, what are you having? Let me know down in the comment section below, but we also have a look at Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Let's start things off with Sami Zayn here. Now, 
First of all, on the Sami Zayn, I do not like this smiling head sculpt. He just looks kind of derpy to me. I don't know. It's I don't know if it's the sculpt or if it's like the eye print. Maybe the eye print kind of messed up a little bit or something, but he looks a bit derpy there. But he is going to come with the Raw and SmackDown Tag Team Championships. The gears that they come with are the WrestleMania 39 main events versus the Usos. We figured that that would probably be the case, and it is. They are in their WrestleZania Hollywood shirts here. And not my favorite gear of all time, but we figured this was going to be it. And it's an epic moment that should be replicated. So every figure in this wave is from WrestleMania 39. You have all the baby faces from the main events of Night 1 and 2 of WrestleMania 39. So that's pretty cool. I, I like the selections here. I don't have a problem with it. They're epic moments that are in case forever in figure form. But you do have this yelling expression too with Sammy and his hair's all messy. It looks weird because the hair's messy. It kind of like throws off the, I don't know, I, I, like I don't know, it, I guess it's accurate to a moment in time when his hair was messy, but I don't know, I feel like that's a design choice that I probably wouldn't have liked. I think just resting hair or, I don't know, it just looks a bit thick or something like that to me. You guys, I love the likeness though, the likeness looks great. I like the screaming expression, always appreciate a good ex screaming expression and it doesn't look like honeycomb mouth. It actually, this is an appropriately good screaming head sculpt, it's just the hair mold looks a little bit weird from this photo here, but it could look bit different in person. You'll also notice that his shirt is going to be no Velcro, so he is going to have a full t-shirt with no Velcro on it, which is epic. And then, you know, this figure... It, I can't tell exactly what torso this is. It almost looks like a brand new torso, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong about that. It may just be one of the reused. It could be like the, the Jeff Hardy torso or something like that. I can't tell from this juncture, like that second Ultimate Edition. And, um... The smiling head sculpt in this this photo here with the white background looks a lot better than it did with the gray background. I think maybe there was a glare on his eye and it made him look derpy or something like that. But, I mean, this is basically an Ultimate Edition conversion of his last few Elite figures, right? It's it's not... I do like the Elite 106 head sculpt. I think it looks just like Sami Zayn. But getting a Sami Zayn Ultimate is cool. I, I'm excited for the figure just to have Sami Zayn here. And they don't have the PWG logo, by the way. They, they couldn't get that one in there, unfortunately. So that is kind of cheeks. But we are also going to take a look at Kevin Owens here. I also want to point out, did, is it me or do these figures look really plain in the in the packaging? Do they look bare bones? They look bare bones to me. They look like they come with nothing. I know they do come with things. Like you have three pairs of interchangeable hands, two championships, three interchangeable heads and cloth goods. It just looks bare in the packaging for some reason. Maybe it's because there's so much space between the accessories or something. But nothing, nonetheless, man, we're getting into Kevin Owens. You guys know I've been waiting on Kevin Owens here. I really like this smiling head sculpt. I think it looks really good. Brand new head sculpt there. We do also have the same matching tag titles to go with your Sami Zayn figure. He has that same WrestleZania shirt. No Velcro on there. But the one thing that's weird about the Kevin Owens figure is he actually has this weird sculpted torso underneath here. And uh, when you zoom in on this thing, it just looks weird like the proportions between the shoulders and the torso and the arms it just looks very odd and uh this isn't the torso that i thought they would go with it's very unique here i don't know if this is the mankind ultimate edition torso i think it is the mankind ultimate edition torso but uh i was thinking they would go with the george the animal steel and just paint it black or something because i do believe that kevin owens does wear a compression black shirt underneath his shirts you know to kind of give him that slim fitting look and it's just i don't know i i could also see that you know if you're an athlete Athlete and you wear compression stuff, it just kind of makes you feel more put together so you're not all over the place. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think there, but I don't know. This torso just looks weird, and I, I feel like once you put the shirt on there, it looks a bit boxy in certain instances. You guys can let me know what you think there. I still like the figure a lot. I love Kevin Owens, but I think in certain images with that torso on there, it makes him look boxy. And then this is another point to add, man. We need that new arm mold, man. We got to have an arm mold for guys like Kevin Owens and Mankind and these things, man. They're not super skinny arms like Seth Rollins or Finn Balor. And those guys don't have super skinny arms. I'm just saying you shouldn't use the same mold for Finn Balor that you do with Kevin Owens on their arms, in my opinion. So I would like to see a bigger arm mold for guys like that. But you don't want them super jacked either, you know? You don't want him looking like Brock Lesnar or something like that. So, there needs to be a better arm mold. I think a good place to start would be the Greatest Hits Legends British Bulldog figure. That figure has really good arms. And another great example is like Elite 35 Luke Harper biceps. Those are pretty much perfect. And hell, even the Bray Wyatt Ultimate Edition arms would be money. Without any tattoos on it, I think that would be perfect for guys like Kevin Owens. So, those are just some ideas there, but I'm still excited for the Kevin Owens. I don't really care for the Elite 101 head sculpt that they included, but 
We have so many Kevin Owens head sculpts you could pop on there, the pissed off from the Elite 91 or other things like this, so I don't really have an issue with that, but he does come with fists. He's got the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard style hands. He has the yelling head sculpt, which is brand new, which I do like. I do like the yelling expression for KO there. Oh, he yells every time he comes to the ring, and then the smiling expression, which I also like. So I like all the head sculpts here for Kevin Owens besides the Elite 101, which I mentioned, but I don't know. You guys can let me know. What do you think of Ultimate Edition Series 21? We are going to see these in person in in, uh, just a matter of hours, really. So that should be fun to actually see these in person. And I also think we'll see Ultimate Edition Series 22, some other things at World. This is just, you know, and I also believe that Amazon will typically leak a new figure set that's Amazon exclusive the morning of reveals. It happens every time. It happens at Comic-Con. It happens at WrestleMania. So it won't shock me if we see new figures like that. But Nonetheless, man, that is Ultimate Edition Series 21, but we also had a leaked out. It was similar to the Legends figures, man. We had a leaked out screenshot of one of those Target, you know, inventory checker deals, and they have this Ultimate Edition Undertaker. Now, we did see a, there was a, like a test shot or a prototype that kind of got leaked. I never put it in a video. However, we do have a 2009 version of Ultimate Edition Undertaker. Now, it's kind of bummy because it's it's from 2009. I would really wish they would have went a little bit earlier than that because this is a gear we've already seen in Elite Series 8 and Greatest Hits. So it would have been cool to get a different gear. However, I must say that this torso looks fantastic. And I know we don't have great images of it. We're going to see this guy in person at World, I imagine. It's probably going to be, I would imagine this is going to be Target Exclusive Legends Ultimate Edition Undertaker, if I had to guess. But... Everything I'm seeing from here looks good. I like these head sculpts. You got the World Heavyweight Championship. You get this cloth robe or entrance coat. You get the hat. This looks like a badass figure, and I'm really liking the torso that I'm seeing from here. And maybe this is an indicator of some future Undertaker figures we could get with this singlet torso. That looks to be a brand new torso here on this Undertaker. It makes him look jacked. And God, I've been waiting on that, man. I felt like his first Ultimate Edition, it was way too like disproportionate, and you couldn't get a good crunch in there because it had that rubber molding piece. This looks like money. This is a perfect base for any Undertaker you want to make you know, from this era of Taker. So, very hyped for this Undertaker. Looks badass. And again, this comes off of a little target screen thing from uh, Inventory Checker or something like that. Similar to how we saw the Elite or the, uh, the Legends 23 series with Rosie and Jamal. Similar pictures like that. So, I imagine that these figures will probably have brand new images or this Undertaker figure will probably have brand new images uploaded probably the day that you're seeing this video. There's probably better images out there as you're seeing this, but uh, nonetheless, I wanted to, you know, discuss all these details here, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the news, man. We are just a day away. We're almost there man we're gonna see all the figure reveals and gonna be uh, out there at philly for wrestlemania should be fun man but i want to know all of your thoughts on these ultimate editions down in the comment section below man where do you stand let me know what you're thinking down below man but i'm getting out of here huge shout out to our patron members of the mdt youtube channel man thank you guys so very much for your continued support over there and if you guys are out in philly you see me this weekend or this week man be sure to stop and, and chat figures or whatever you want to say, man. I always enjoy talking with everyone. So that is going to wrap the video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know your thoughts on these ultimates, and I'll check you guys later.